Okay, here I am today. I'm working on the Matchbox Series number 51, the eight-wheel Tippo. It's yellow and silver, as you can see. Uh, this one's been around for who knows how long, 40, 50 years. Uh, needs a little bit of TLC. As you can see, it's a bit scuffed up, obviously been well used. First thing I'm going to be doing though is removing this rivet to help me strip it down for painting. So I'm using my trusty battery drill. I start off with a smaller drill bit. What I'm doing is making a uh, hole in the rivet post so I can tap it later. So I can put a screw in there when I finish the whole thing to put it back together. So starting off with the narrow drill and when I've gone down far enough I then go up to a larger drill to remove the head of the rivet. So that's the uh, rivet head drilled off. Now with a flat bladed screwdriver I can gently prise the front of the underbody of the vehicle off and as you notice this item is made of plastic a little bit unusual but I'll be painting it later this is the hole I'm going to tap that will receive the screw when I put it back together so I might do that now So I'll just get the male tap and put it in the hole and just work it in slowly. Always remember to go backwards as well as forwards to clear the flutes. And once you've done it, you should have a nice screw thread there to accept the screw. This is where it's going to go and this is the type of screw I'm going to be using. Here is the windscreen from the cabin. As you can see, it's pretty grimy. It's got a lot of dirt. It's even got an imperfection on the front. I'm gonna clean it up with some washing up liquid and some cotton buds and see what it comes up like. Well, now I am going to remove the wheels and axles again so I can paint the chassis. Uh, as you can see, the wheels are held on to the axles with a, a, like a, a burr or a flange on the end of the spindle. I've got to remove that. Here's one I did before and it worked well. And I'm going to show you how I did that using my trusty Dremel, the grinding wheel on the end of it. I'm going to set it up for the lowest speed and just pressing on the end of the axle there with my finger lightly. I'm letting the Dremel touch the axle and it's spinning. Now, as it's spinning, it's removing the burr evenly all around. Uh, it only takes a couple of seconds and let's see now. I think if I push that through there, there you go, that's number two done. After removing the wheel, I now have one pin to remove at the back and that's to take the, the tipper body off. Um, pivot pin at the back here, just pull that out. There we go. To get the tailgate off, I uh, flex the rear of it while somebody else pulled the tailgate out for me. So that was quite easy. There's just one other thing here, a plastic block that uh, needs to be taken out to totally strip down the body for spray painting uh, doesn't matter which way that goes back in it's the same either way so we're ready to go now we're going to be stripping the paint off of the model we're going to be using paint stripper for this it's very important that you use rubber gloves and eye goggles we're going to be liberally applying it with the paintbrush and we're going to be removing it with the toothbrush in a bath of water
Now I've given the major components a coating of primer and they are now ready for the top coat. I shall be using my hobby compressor and airbrush to paint the models. For the base of the cabin I've decided just to mask off the tyres for spraying. For painting the cabin base and the tipper body I'll be using Tamiya Paint X11 Chrome Silver. I'll be mixing it 50-50 with Tamiya's thinners. For the chassis and body I used Tamiya paints. In a plastic shot glass I added 5 to 10 mil of yellow lacquer paint LP8. I then added the same amount of thinners and then 5 drops of red X7 and 4 drops of white X2. I cleaned the wheels and painted them gloss black. I then went over the axles with fine emery paper to make them shine. Here we can see all of the parts ready for reassembly. To secure the wheels to the model, I have made a dolly from a modified nail. This will reform the ends of the axle and prevent the wheels from falling off. Here is the dolly fitted into my drill press. I am setting the depth so I do not damage the wheels when forming the end of the axles. To form the end of the axles, I first grip the axle with some pliers. I then pull down the drill press with moderate pressure and allow the dolly to deform the end of the axle to captivate the wheels. Next I reinsert the plastic friction block into the chassis. I now reinstall the tipper pivot pin using the dolly as before. Using a small blob of araldite I re-secure the windscreen into the cabin.
Now I'm going to refit the cabin base and secure it with a screw. When you're working with really small screws, it helps to have a magnetised screwdriver. After touching up a few chips that occurred during reassembly, the model finally looks like this. Now all that is left to do is to apply some new stickers to the tipper body. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video of the restoration of the Matchbox number 51 8-wheeled tipper.